This video will cover the automation features in Freshdesk, describe their functionalities, and tell you how you can automate mundane tasks in your help desk. Every help desk includes a set of repetitive tasks that you have to perform every day for the proper functioning of your help desk. Freshdesk makes it easy for you to streamline your efforts by providing you with a set of automations that will let you perform a whole range of tasks automatically. They can be used to minimize the time you spend on managing your help desk and getting it organized. In this video, we'll be looking at scenario automations. Scenario automations are a collection of actions that get to be performed on one or more tickets when an agent chooses to execute them. It can be used to automate multiple actions on a ticket with a single click without having to do them one by one manually. Let us create a sample scenario automation rule to understand how this works. To get started, go to the Admin tab in your Freshdesk account and click on Scenario Automation under Help Desk Productivity. Click on the New Rule button to create the sample rule. You can edit this later on after the rule is created. In the next page, you can start creating your scenario automation rule by giving it a name and description. Make sure you explain what the rule does here to ensure that you or other admins can understand it in the future. Now you can define the actions that need to be carried out by choosing an action from the drop-down list and selecting the filters for it. For example, to set a ticket priority as high and assign it to a particular group, select Set Priority As from the drop-down menu list and then select High in the corresponding filter. Click on Add New Action and select Assign to Group from the drop-down list and then select Logistics in the corresponding filter. You can grant or restrict the availability of a scenario automation by specifying who can use it by choosing between the options, myself for the rule creator alone, all agents for all the agents in your help desk, agents in a group for specified agents in a group. Once you're done, don't forget to click Save. Once you are done creating your rules, you can manage them from the Scenario Automations page. Here, you'll be able to see shared or personal scenarios. Both admins and agents can create scenarios, whereas only an admin can share a scenario automation with the other agents. To execute this scenario automation rule, go to your Ticket View page and select scenarios from the shortcuts present above your ticket. Look for the above created scenario and click on Execute to execute that particular scenario. The ticket properties would have changed accordingly. This brings us to the end of our tutorial on automations. To learn more about the others, please watch the rest of the videos in this series.